East Coast communities brace for more wild weather in the midst of cyclone hail. New details emerge on Auckland Poker House heist and why Apple's newest feature could cause problems for emergency services. At Maria, I'm Shuri Kinnear and these are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. Heavy rain warnings remain over much of the North Island's east coast as ex-tropical cyclone hail hits. Tairawhiti has declared a state of local emergency for seven days while the region grapples with widespread flooding. Residents around the Hikuwai River south evacuated yesterday in preparation for it to reach a bank-breaking 13 metres. Meanwhile, there's fears the historic Mercury Bay Boating Club in the Coromandel could be washed away after the coastline underneath it was dangerously eroded. Coromandel officials have dubbed the storm a once-in-20-year event. The government's being called out over their spending on consultants. Our newsroom can reveal $2.4 million has been spent on a Wellington Crossing way on Cobham Drive, including more than half a million on consultants. The government says the project has been designed to help prevent deaths on a dangerous stretch of road. But National's Transport spokesperson Simeon Brown says the price tag shows the government is over-reliant on consultants. New Zealanders are seeing their tax money being used on consultancy reports which go round and round in circles but they're not actually getting the delivery and the only thing that's been delivered is a pedestrian crossing and slower speed limits. An armed trio has held a group of gamblers at gunpoint before stealing thousands in cash from an unlicensed poker house in Auckland. The Herald understands there's been no arrests as yet in connection with the incident at the North Shore Gambling Den during a high-stakes poker session early on Saturday. Forensic specialist officers conducted a scene examination at the home the day after the raid. Detectives have since taken statements from those caught up in the aggravated burglary. Emergency services could face a flurry of false alarms this summer as an automatic crash detection system is rolled out on Apple's newest phones. The cutting-edge technology is installed on the iPhone 14 as well as some of the latest Apple watches. When the device detects what seems to be a severe crash, it sounds an alarm and starts a 20-second countdown to automatically call emergency services. However, the technology is reportedly not always able to distinguish between car crashes and tumbles in adventure sports such as skiing or mountain biking and could trigger false alarms. And people are being reminded to be particularly vigilant with what's going on with their bank accounts over the holiday period. Banks across the country have launched a campaign encouraging New Zealanders to check before transferring any money or giving out personal information. New scams involve criminals masking themselves as a trusted person or organisation. And those are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. For more stories and to stay up to date, head to nzherald.co.nz. Kia pai tera. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. To stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald, click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here. And head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.